How's going? Mark Daniel Nelson here with Make Mine Music. Today we have a neat little four or five favorite plugins for the Master Stereo Bus. Now this isn't necessarily compression or EQ. It's more about the delicate side of the color of the entire mix. In the digital world, when you're mixing completely in the box, I feel like you need to have a personality with your mixes. This could be a 5% thing, it could be a 10% thing, but it can really add or make or break your mix in a very pleasing way. I'm not necessarily a big, huge compression on the two bus guy, even though I'm a big, huge compression guy on the two bus. And I'll tell you what that means. It's not necessarily about how much compression I like. It's more about the character of the box itself and what it's doing. Give an example. This guy, the AT-101, there's a ton of tubes in it. And the fact that it's a very new compressor is based around how the tubes are working with the compression circuit. It's the whole thing. So sometimes not even using compression on this guy sounds even better than if you use it and just using the line amp itself. All these compressors I have here and all the compressors I have in the box have a very similar approach to it as well. And a lot of that is based around trying to figure out how to get the color I want. It's usually a holographic thing. And I've spoken about the holographic thing when it comes to depth a couple times, but it's mainly around what it's doing front to center to back. So there's the width, left to right, and then it's the front to back. So my four favorite, I might add a fifth just for fun, top five favorite two bus plugins are as followed. Not necessarily compression, not necessarily EQ, but just the overall color. Now the track I have here is another Todd Kessler song on the same album called Only Love Is Real. This is a great, great, great example track because it's got a vibe to it. There's a lot of energy in the sense of it being kind of pulsing and slow. And the kick is big, but the snare is brushes, so it's light and delicate. There's one kind of guitar until certain aspects when it gets real wide and there's ele elements. And then there is a lot of synth ear candy and noodling that adds this just really great space. So you could really ruin this really quickly with a compressor that is not accurate, with tape saturation that's too much, with all these elements. And in fact, you're probably only going to end up getting 5-10% off of one or two of these added. One of these tricks I do is a two-plug-in combo, and by putting them together, it creates this weird thing where the drums can sit behind. And I use that probably 70% of the time when I'm mixing, that two-plug-in combo on my master. So let's listen for a second to the track and decide what we can do to make it better with a plugin that will just process the stereo. Two feet back on dry land And I'm ready to go out again I long for the salt in the air This song is a song I probably wouldn't reach for a bus compressor as a compression reason. It's very open, and I don't want to distract or pull away from that idea, clamp everything down. But I do think we can get some color out of this and shift a little bit some of the image. So the first, number one, is the combination of the ATR and the UAD 560. I've talked about two of these in the past, but I've never said the reason why they work, and I certainly have never said they work great together because I kind of want to save it as a trick later on. The aspect that this does, just getting into it for a second, is that this guy is basically playing the 2520 op amp that's in all the API gear. I'm not using any of the EQs, and if you see, I pull it back a half dB so it gets past the half dB boost when you turn it on to think, oh, it is better. So we can listen to that. 
Both of these, like I said, I've talked about, but the reason why it's special together is how it incorporates some kind of holographic dimension thing. That it doesn't work with one or the other. And I will demonstrate that. And do consider, I do like the repo head of the high frequency for the EQ. And the reason why I like that is because sometimes the overall mix just needs a little bit more openness or something. And by boosting this, it gives me a tiny bit more special sauce for EQ because it is pretty colorful. So let's play it without and then with of this two-part plug-in combo. Hurricanes and gales, mountains made of ice, our cathedrals in the day. presentation of the stereo mix is the P42 Climax by Pulsar. This plugin is special because it does one thing incredibly well, which is it's modeling a transformer. It does have a little bit of EQ sweetening here and there, but the reason why I like it is because I'm just pushing stuff. For this track, it probably won't sound very good, the best out of all these options, but you can hear what it's doing and why I like it. By pushing it, you're basically rounding off areas that sound more pokey. So you're getting things to sound a little more tight, like you're hitting a pair of transformers. Why is this different than other transformer plugins or such? I just feel like it's as close as you can get so far. And it says Huntington, Indiana, and I'm from Indiana. So I like that. hurricanes and gales, mountains made of ice. Cathedrals in the day. One, two, ships to cross paths. Instantly, you can hear a little more strength Seven in the kick and the snare. We meet and last. Push it a little bit. as it's adding harmonics but it is gluing the track up nicely the harder you push it though the more pancakey everything starts sounding but when you're trying to kind of cut off some things on the snare and stuff like that it really helps and just putting on the two bus when you need to really brings it out there's a lot of options but i do like to just leave it as my starting point delicately Number three, the top, T-A-U-P-E. This Acoustica Audio plugin is kind of a combination of different tape saturations, an EQ bass, and then a compressor. I don't use the compressor, and I use very lightly a bit of the EQ on my chain. I do have a preset. This is based off of, I believe, I'm not even going to say it because I know somebody's going to know it and they're going to tell me I'm wrong. All I know is I went through a bunch of these on a stereo program to make sure I'm listening to what it's doing on all types of music. And this guy does a lot in the width and the depth department. Probably the most colored of all these. So when you get a track that isn't necessarily special, doesn't have a lot of personality, this thing can really do some damage. So you have to be careful. But... Sometimes that's good. So I'm going to use this again, same part, and we're going to hear what it does to the whole mix. Hurricanes and gales, mountains made of ice, our cathedrals in the day. One, two, ships to cross.
cathedrals in midair One, two, ships to cross past It's kind of keeping the bump of the kick drum It's enhancing that enough for it to feel like, okay, this is actually doing something But it's not making it booming, which is huge on top of it, it's making the sheen of everything come out. So the cymbals, the brushes, everything on the stereo spectrum is getting wider. This is a really cool plugin. Probably my favorite for this song. Number four is Punctuate by the newfangled audio company. And this isn't necessarily a compressor. It's more of a transient expander. And you gotta use this very, very, very light. By being very delicate with it, you're gonna find that if you need just a little more pump at the bottom or a little more snap in the snare area, you're gonna get it. I fought hurricanes and Cathedrals in because we're not trying to get the drums punchy. But I can tell you what, when you're in a mix, like a rock track or a very dense track, a trailer track, anything that has just tons of stuff going on, this plugin is a godsend because after you get all the way through it and then you start losing stuff, like most people do when you spend four or five hours on a mix and then you listen to it and you're like, God, it's starting to sound flat. This thing will pull the areas you need out of it back in before you hit the limiter too hard. For our fifth plugin of the day and our final, our special, special compressor plugin is going back many years as this plugin is actually not the newest plugin, but is one of my favorite compressors, is the glue. This guy has probably been out 12 years, maybe even longer. And it just sounds really, really, really good. It's very different than a traditional SSL style compressor. It's just different. And in fact, I don't use the side chain. I keep the mix knob in half and then I just tickle it a little bit. I really never change the ratio. I keep the attack on pretty much auto. It's 30 and the release is at 0.2 and it just tickles it and it grips things and glues it, the glue enough for feeling that I'm getting enough energy out of things without pulverizing it. I fought hurricanes and gales Mountains made of ice Our cathedrals in the day I fought hurricanes and gales Mountains made of ice Our cathedrals in the day this tape and this guy. We go. That's the key with obviously two bus stuff is you don't want it to be too aggressive, but you would never want that on analog hardware either. It's funny talking to some people are like, well, I don't, I don't want to spend that kind of money if it's only going to give me 5%. But my old rule has always been it's always 5% more than what you could do without it. So it's actually way more. It's, as I say, 100% more because it's better than anything you can do if you didn't have it. And if you added one or two things that were 5%, then you're 10. So that's my top four or five plugins for the stereo bus. The Acoustic Audio Tape Top A, however you pronounce it, and the Glue, Symtonic Glue plugin 
or Match Made in Heaven for this track. It just added just enough where I wouldn't even consider going out of the box for this because when we tracked this song originally, as I said, it was done on a lot of really good animal gear. So we got a lot of flavors out of that. This added just enough character by, without hurting the sound too much. It was adding stuff on the bottom end and the fluffiness, the creaminess of the top end, but then kind of adding a little bit of tightness and glue with the compressor. So that's it in a nutshell. Happy mixing, have fun. Oh my sweet.